See you there. Good morning. Good morning. What's up, guys? I won't take too much long, uh, too much time starting this video. This video is about a friend of mine, and uh, I just want to make it about him uh, real quick. What's up, guys? Just say it real quick. Do me a favor and smash that like button uh, for, for Jake. Smash that heart button. If you don't know who Jake is, I'm, I'm going to introduce you to him. I'm going to show a couple of his videos, guys, because I feel that it was, it's extremely necessary. This dude's musicianship uh, was out of this world, it's truly a God-given talent. And um, unfortunately, he, uh, I think we need to speak openly about this, man. I think you know, we need to raise awareness uh, for suicide. And I, uh, some people might find it very touchy, and I understand but um, my one of my dear friends here, in the, as a performing artist, man, we respect each other, especially down here in the valley. Uh, we try to look out for each other and try to respect each other, and, and we have a real tight knit community down here. And Jake was one of the most talented musicians that I've ever seen in my life. And I, uh, as a person who dominates the stage myself, I saw his talent, and he just dominated the stage, he captivated the crowds. And was just a, a level of uh, of talent that was just amazing. Uh, and I want to showcase his music. Please just give me stick around to the end of this video because I want this is one of the rawest talents. And I'm going to feature him right now. I'm going to when I first saw him, I'm going to pull up a video. I'm going to mute myself here shortly. I just want to make sure that the sound uh, works. And this guy was alien level talent, man. Uh, and I just want to introduce to you the music of Jake Cortez and uh, phenomenal talent. And it's just a tragedy that uh, he decided he was just going through dark emotional trouble. And uh, he decided to end his life. And I think it's important to talk about it openly even though it may be a touchy subject and my prayers are with his family for great strength and to be covered by the Holy Spirit because there's no words I can say that could bring any type of solace or comfort, but I know that the Holy Spirit is a great comforter and I know that he will wrap his arms around you and give you strength and give you hope and give you uh, strength outside human understanding. And that is my prayer uh, for his family. And I'll, I won't say much more I'm just going to introduce to you one of the most amazing musicians I've ever seen in my life. And check out this talent, okay? This is Jake Cortez. And mind you, this video that I'm about to play is super, super old, all right? And I'm, gonna, I'm just going to try to uh, mute myself over here. Let me just try to and let the video play, all right? Let me know if the sound is okay. Okay, I just want to make sure that the sound is okay to give uh, Jake his proper uh, his proper tribute. All right, this is amazing music. Right here. I'm trying to mute my, my I'm going to mute my my microphone. All right, I hope that this works. Let me know if the the sound of the video is still coming through.
all right, like that was next level alien talent, okay? And this guy was going through some dark places, guys. And I think it's, it's good that we talk about it and raise awareness because, man, especially down here in the Natha Six, we are raised with bastante machismo and we are told not to cry. We're told not to express ourselves. We're told not to, whatever we're going through, eat, the, eat it. Eat it and, and move on and, and move forward. Be, hey, be a man. Be a man, hombre. Hey. Agarra la onda. Ponte la bola. And um, I feel that as a culture down here, it's it, that, that, that could be damaging for some people where they feel that they can't express themselves and, and cry and have a sadness on, or be looked down upon uh, as weak. And I think being able to speak with other men uh, about these things actually shows great strength. And I think we should make that a more um, normal thing. To speak openly <laughs> and about our feelings and express ourselves and allow um, other men to be there to support to support us. And um, oh man, I'm getting teary eyed. I didn't want that to happen. Uh, I'm going to show you some more of these, uh, some more, two more videos of him. These were some of the last pieces of content that he put out on his, um, on his channel. And shockingly, he was all about Jesus and God and just loving the Lord with all his heart, which makes his death be a suicide so shocking and so hard. And I pray that. The Lord opens his, his, his arms in forgiveness and in love and uh, accepts Jake into the kingdom and just lets him reap the rewards and sees him at the great banquet. I really pray for his family too. Um, I'm going to put, and, and the last few pieces of content that he put out were a tribute to his love for the Almighty, and I just want to play that for you. Okay? And again, I'll mute myself out. Uh, and let the video play, all right? Out of respect for Jake, because, I mean, I might cry. <laughs> Thank you. 
Cristo vive em mim. Somos chiquitos, hermanitos. Cristo vive aqui. Somos o templo de Jesucristo. Cristo vive aqui, Cristo vive em mim, el Hijo de Pampa Deus, Cristo vive em mim, Cristo me salvador, Cristo vive Cristo vive em mim. There's somebody cutting onions right now. Like a sandstorm just blew into my eye with onions in it. And somebody squirted lemon juice in my eye, but I'm not crying. I'm totally not crying. There was like a sandstorm that just blew in here. Wow. Freaking sandstorm. Woof. Them onions, man. One more song, Jake. Show what's up, man. Oh, man. I'm going to mute myself again. Ugh. Do it, Jake. Let them know what's up. By the way, this was his last piece of content that he put on his YouTube channel. And uh, I think it's worth watching. Enjoy it.
Jake, uh, my friends are with your family, my buddy. I hope that uh, a lot of people come to know your music and, and if you uh, see any of his posts on Facebook and see his family asking for help and you find it in your heart to, to donate to them, uh, do so and, and be a blessing to others. Uh, let's pray for each other, man. And, uh, be there for the people um, that bring you the most joy. Let them know uh, how much they mean to you. Uh, Jake. Somebody was asking here uh, what happened to him. And uh, he, uh, he ended up taking his own life and uh, I think that we just need to talk more openly about it and just be real and just pray for each other and try to be a support system for one another um, because tragedies like this should not happen. But that's another conversation for another day. I'm hoping that this uh, video gives him redemption and uh, lets a lot of people know his music and his soul and his happiness it was amazing uh, yeah man that last song he had a lot of fun with it <laughs> yeah, that little ending riff he, he ripped it man that was great it's a beautiful soul and uh May he rest in peace and, and power and uh, be lifted into the banquet of the Most High, King of Kings. That was, I, I even just talked about it like about stifling our emotions. Right now I just want to cry and I'm like held back from wanting to really let it loose. Isn't that crazy? We have a macho culture that People see it as a weakness, you know, to let your emotions flow. And I think that's uh, what leads to most of these tragedies. I think we should, as men, be allowed to speak out to other men and seek support and comfort. Why not? I'm going to go hide my emotions now. <laughs> Hello, chavos. God bless you guys. God loves you guys. Uh, may his love be in your home. 